Intro time. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. And today we're hanging out with Twitch stream, with Twitch chat, as we hop in and play classic capitals with progressive cards, which I've been staying away from these settings because they always last three hours because everybody wants to stack their capital and never play for fun. But I'm going to try to change that. As I usually do, it doesn't always work. I'm going to get the Middle East cap. I like this. I've got five access points to escape from. Now, the China Blizzard and the Southern Europe Blizzard do choke up a bit of the middle of the map. Card blocking will be easier on people later, uh, especially with the uh, Venezuela Blizzard. So I like this. Middle East is like a two point cuts off everybody down here. So very easy to card block if there's a Fiesta Dogtown down here. Red didn't cap in Brazil or Afghanistan. So my prediction is Red doesn't take an okay cap or a great cap, and he's going for Australia like a potato. And I'm for it. I'm definitely for it. We also don't see White's cap. Now, I don't see a good cap choice. Yeah, Orange cap's in a smart location. Okay. I don't know a smart... Maybe Northwest Territories would have been a decent White cap. I can also cap in Kamchatka. A lot of people do well with Kamchatka caps. I can cap Iceland. I don't really want to cap. Like, this is kind of a, a easier to card block here, I think. Everybody seems to be capped in here, honestly. Disgustingly enough. Now, M Middle East is fine. So we're playing Capital Conquest on Classic. Hey, blue capped immediately. What the fuck is this? Ah, progressive Capitals on Classic with Expert AI. Fog and Blizzard's on it. No alliances, no portals. And he went East Africa. I don't know why you would ever do that. Whatever. So we're hanging out on Twitch. I haven't streamed a lot lately, but I'm going to try to do it more. Uh, would not playing with Fog fix the sniping problem? Or is it pure targeting that hurts you? Um, it's just like, even if... Whether it's targeting or not, they, they affect the game quite a lot differently. And like, even without Fog... like. It's not that, like, I lose because of fog. fog. It's uh, just the game changes. Like, whether they target me or don't target me, like, it's not an actual real game at that point, right? I'm either getting targeted or fed the win. Usually targeted when that happens. And, like, I'm not, I'm not the person that gets sniped as much as everybody else, so I don't have the same problem at the same level as everybody else. But the second I taste it, I'm just fucking out, right? I'll just go back to recording off. So, like, I, it affects my mental more than anything. As soon as I'm not having fun, I'm out. Love how long Red was looking at your cap for. I mean, if he wanted to roll a 10 on 9, I mean, have at her. Oh, God. So, white capped in Peru. So, white's going to be a very easy card block. White and blue probably contest each other here. I'm cool with that. Okay. So, Red has a 7 cap. Right? 10 minus 2 leaves one behind. That's a 7. Brings 6 up here. That's a 7. White has a 7 cap. A nice easy card in Japan. What was the lies about, John? Is it... Did you say lies because I said I'd be happy if you won the Hall of Fame tournament? Because I would. I would be happy for you. I'm pretty much rooting for everybody in the Hall of Fame tournament. Like, Unless somebody suicides me, then I will specifically be not rooting for them. But as far as everybody else is concerned, I'm pretty much rooting for everybody to have a good game. Obviously, I want I want to win, but like... I, I, I'm okay where, where how my season's going, so... If somebody else wins, I'm, I'm happy for them, and I'd love to see it. What's up, Johnny, with the... Oh, sorry, I have follower alert turned up on this screen. Thank you, Johnny, for the reset. When I'm pushing out our baby, I think you're the one that's going to get the water breaking and the contractions, right? So, actually, you're the one that has to do the pushing. I don't know if you know much about anatomy, but that's how it works. Oh, lies about me streaming more. Yeah. Well, it'll be streaming more and less YouTube videos. Something like that, I think. You're the filler upper? Oh, okay. You're the gas pumper, huh? So is there no caps in North America? That's kind of weird. Let's just go here. So, uh, yeah... My original thing is white's in Peru, blue, me, and orange are in the middle of the board. Nobody's North America, so it means red and... Who else is left? Red and green are doing some uh, 
uh, Australia shenanigans, right? And I think it's I think green is in Siam because red came down with a ten. Stopped in India. Where did he fortify? No, he must have fortified in. Maybe red's the one with Siam and green's down in here somewhere. Not quite sure. I'll figure it out. I'm not paying enough attention, but we will learn the things soon enough. Why would you take Japan over or Britain? In this stage, more info is better. Would have checked us. Uh, like it's either red or green here. I guess I could have checked if they hit each other's caps. That's probably not a bad idea. Who's in the final of the Hall of Fame? So we've got uh, Zero Key, Sterling, AKA Spud Topped, King John, uh, Pete, and then myself. So it's a pretty good six player final. Red attacked Siam and didn't lose anything? Okay, so maybe there's no cap there. Maybe the caps are like in here. <clears throat> I just, like, if I hit India, there's a chance I don't get this open to me again. Like, so, like, if you're wondering why I didn't even consider it, like, maybe I should have considered it and I should have went looking. But the reason I didn't really consider it is, like, after round three, I can see if caps change hands. And if I see them change hands, that would be the time I would go looking. But maybe I should have went looking early. Yeah, you can definitely make that argument. Okay, he's trying to chase me out of Europe. Yeah, you go back to your capital. That's what I'm saying. You gotta watch an ad, I'm sorry. Green's doing what? So, White's probably getting a 7, right? He is. So, Blue's not contesting him from holding South America. White's probably got a big stack here, or maybe even here. I would like if White checks Orange and makes sure Orange doesn't get Europe. There's no reason to give Orange Europe. He's got a nice little three point. Was it an ad for State Farm? Definitely. Not blue out of there. We got a wild card. That's nice to know. <laughs> That's the problem with this map for Prog Pulula, Progressive Capitals is it's really hard to snowball unless you can chain kills from people fighting. On Europe Advance, you can try to like overly aggress and steal somebody's position or take a big position and then use that to snowball with you get 20 troops in a turn but here it's just like everybody gets five a turn the occasional person will get seven a turn and it really doesn't mean very much like and then maybe orange gets 10 a turn but nobody's getting 20 a turn or 25 a turn or 17 a turn those are what, what add up and what makes europe advanced much better for uh for caps what exactly are the chances to not get a set on four on risk? It depends on the map. But uh, like most maps are like 80 to 82% or something that you will get a set on four. So like I think on classic fixed, you have an 82% chance to get a set on four. I think it's 82% if, if I remember right from what the guys were telling me. So I give it, not getting a set is 18%. That's uh, we see a lot of that sometimes. What's your favorite map? My favorite map was Moscow Advanced, but they took that away. Uh, I don't really have a favorite map now. I don't think like it could. You could say Alcatraz, Supermax. Those those games are really fun. Europe Advanced is really fun. I like that map. It's hard to say. I don't really have one that like stands above the rest. I used to have one that stood above the rest. For a regular person, a set on four is eighty percent. For Kilted, it's twenty eight percent. Based Moscow Advanced Enjoyer. Yeah, that was the best map in the game. It wasn't even close. It was like by far the best map. It worked for everything. And now the game has progressed and got more skillful over the last two years since they take it, took it away. I would love to see how it's played nowadays. I'd love to build on how it gets played nowadays. I could hit orange, but I don't care. You want to see it? Yeah, you can Google it. Um, if you Google Risk Moscow Advanced Map, you could Google it. It's a good map. It was great. I hope the war ends at some point and they bring it back. That would be, that'd be a win-win, right? The both of those things would be good. What's up, nasty Nate? Seventy Mont Saint Michel Prague. That was my favorite, like a year and a half ago. 
I think as everybody got better, I, I found it to be a lot more luck based. Everybody got way too friendly, and then now it's whoever gets the good spawn with all the big bonuses snowballs to the point where nobody can stop them, and then they win. Or two people snowball really fast, and nobody checks nobody checks them early enough. Do I have any YouTube videos on Moscow Advance? No, unfortunately not. They took the map away before I started YouTube. They took it away, like, right after Russia invaded Ukraine. Like, I guess almost two full years ago now. Uh, they took it away. And I've only been doing YouTube for about one and a half years. So, it's unfortunate. What's up, one shot? Nerd! Love you too, man. How many cards are in the game? Uh, it's one for every territory and then two jokers. And then different maps have a different number of dudes, horses, and, and uh, dudes, cavalry, and artillery. <laughs> Dude, horse, and gun, you said. 69 territories on Moscow Advance. Just another reason it was excellent. Yeah, Pete would have videos on it because he's been doing videos for three years. That, that's not bad, yeah. You like USA Capitals, Johnny? Interesting. The bonuses are pretty good. So Orange got 10, right? No, 5. Okay, so White's actually breaking them here. Cool. <clears throat> so I go through and take North America now. I, I make this an 11. 10. 10 on 2. There's a 2 here. And then come through. It's perfect. Actually, even better is I'm going to put 2 on this 4 and come in. Watch this for a Ram Dingle, man. Ah. He had more troops he put in here. No. Oh, <laughs> double wilds. I'm getting the kill Pete luck today. Oh my god. I watched a JJ stream and hear something about you being the first multi-tournament winner. Uh, for, so, what was it? Free for all legends and GM were like the three main tournaments in risk as the first person to win all three. So somebody called it a grand slam. And I really like that title for it. Like, cause I guess it, they use that in like all sorts of shit, right? The grand slam. So I'm like, yeah, first grand slam winner. That's cool. Fucking terminology. I like it. Triple crown, baby. Yeah. Like whatever the grand ram dingle, whatever you want to call it in whatever terminology. I thought it was cool to, to call it a grand slam. So, but no, I, so I'm not the first multi-tournament winner because uh, Marin won the free for all and legends. He just never got a GM title. Um, and some other people like have won multiple tournaments. Like Pete won the free for all tournament, but he also won uh, a zombies tournament. Was it zombies? No, not zombies. It was something else. And he won a PRT. Like, there's a lot of people that have won multiple tournaments. I've won the Chaos Tournament, too. There's just, for the big three, because KPO is now a new big one. But before that, there was just a big three. So Marin was the first person to win two of the big three. And then I took down uh, three of them now. Do this. USA Capitals with Fog, Blizzards, and Alliances. Try those out. I'm down. I'm definitely down to do uh, USA Capitals. I tried Roman Empire Caps. I'm going to try probably all three of those other maps with Caps too. Why are you leaving an 8 here, bro? Did you get your 10 this time? He did. Yellow only gets 3? Wait. Yellow only gets 3. Uh, red only gets 3. What is happening, bro? It's going to be chain, chain, ching, chong, slam everybody. Let's go. Is there still a GM Discord? Yeah, it's called uh, GM Grandmasters Arena. They do five aside in there and the Grandmaster Tournament. The Triple Slapper. Post a short of my risk review. I don't know what you mean, uh, risk review. Uh, what do I do? I, I, do I come look? How long? No, because Green just got to re up right with his nine. He's gonna. He's just single stacking whatever cap it is. So do I knock Green out of North America then? I'm gonna knock Green out of North America. Let's trap Green in his fucking corner. Green can be trapped in his corner. This is all he's got, right? 
Uh, I have to use one of my wilds. Oh, I'm so unlucky, man. I could kill red. Yeah, I don't want to kill red for a plus four, though. I want red to trade, take a third card, and then kill him next turn. I also don't want to take all these territories right now. Did blue hold Africa? Yo! Yeah, okay, so blue has South America, Africa, and the double caps. Okay, so it was blue that took white out of there. Did white quit? No, white's still here. He wants retaliation, which might mean this six comes through this way. Through orange into blue. Like, if I can, like, I can theoretically trade, kill red and white together. And then, like, ki trade, kill red, trade, kill white, trade. And it'll be 15, 20, 25. I might be able to snowball. That's why I let them alive. Seven on four, that's rude. Oh, no, it's going to hit the blue two here, right? There's a blue two here. Slam. What? It, it got a card, but what was that? What did it hit? It lost minus six. It must have hit something. So white's just going to live in here. Don't hit my six, bro. Let's be friends. It's quite the pain in the ass for me to get back in there. Eh? Why? Man! You're trying to take the bonus? I hate you. Stupid! I mean, okay, you're still trying to play the game. It's not stupid. Like, obviously, it's definitely not stupid because I was going to kill him anyways, right? Like, you can't just leave me there. <laughs> so stupid's the wrong term, but like, leave me alone, man. I got stuff I want to do. You think Red smashed a green exterior in Asia? That'd be nice. USA Advanced with Fog Alliance and Blizzards has been fire too. Thanks, uh, thank you, PS. Sorry about emotes, but I want to experiment. What's up, Doomian? Look at this loser. I'm looking at him. He typed, look at this loser in the chat. Jesus. So I'm seeing, I'm seeing potential for me to get like a bit of a, a play going on. I want to see how far green comes up. Green might actually go for the kills that I want. Green might go red into yellow. I get the best out of red into yellow though, because green's going to trade for 12. So if he kills red for 15, sorry, red into white. And then it'd be white into 20. But I could go 15, 20, 25 if I get the double the double slap, right? <clears throat> Still, that's a four-player game and it's relatively equal after that. But I could easy card block green. Easy. Oh my god, that's so easy. Here he comes. That's a Siam hit. And now it's an India hit. No? Wait, he's up here. Oh. Stop it. Oh, he's killing one of them. So he was up here still somehow. Oh, there was the red stack that rolled green. Okay. Yeah, that's red. Yeah, okay. Damn it. Okay, now just tr trade and fortify back to your capital. And I, I will make white taste it. And I will card block you. I just leave a 12 in Afghanistan and then that's it. That'd be such a rude boy play. You're waiting for the link tree? It's there. It's it's below the stream. Uh, Undelay. There we go. Now fortify all the way back to your capital and let me card block you. And then I will make you cry. All right. Actually, I don't need to leave it because I can trade and set it up, right? Bye. Okay. And I have to use my wild card. That sucks. Well, I can use Central America. Artillery is the most popular on this map, so we'll go this way. He only gets nine a turn, right?
Card block green. Let's see if orange gets it. Wait, could I have chained that into the orange kill? If I did it differently? He's got a lot of half cap troops. Is orange still getting 10? Because I, I got to keep in mind, orange might... No, he's getting five. Orange might have like two 15 stacks, but if he's getting five, maybe not. Maybe I can ram dingle here. Because blue's probably... Yeah, blue has to be hitting into orange to get cards where he's trapped. What's up, Vixticator? Welcome in, man. Thanks for following. What's up, T-Kane? Ninety percent chance I'd have to blitz the thirteen. The thing is, Green's probably going to trade on three and ram me here. Country Guru, what's up? Welcome in. Don't stack your capital. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Now I definitely can't kill him. Green trades on three to make sure my day sucks. I had to trade both wilds. So dumb. Ah. Uh, uh. We tried, right? He had the trade on three. Even though I just traded both wilds in, so it was unlikely he had a wild. He just, he got the trade on three. Look at all the cards green gives you. I know, but I wanted to card block him. I wasn't worried about cards, because I can always take in here. Blue's always going to retake, probably. Okay, I can just take a card here and open orange, maybe? No. Yeah. I could very easily card block him, but I'm not going to. I'm going to see... Fancy. That's fine. Got a trade, though. How weak is green's cap? Uh, it's probably pretty strong. It's probably stronger than orange. That was that was his trade on three, though, because before that he traded, killed red, traded, and he's been getting nine a turn. I think he's relatively strong in here. I mean, it, it could be worth checking. Blue took into orange. Orange trades or no? Trades are 35. Ugh. Thing is, if I trade kill orange trade, blue could trade and smack Middle East. He killed red with a 12 stack plus the trade. It's 50 plus easily. I think, yeah, I think green is stronger than orange. Is my guess. 44 cap. Green gets 11 now. Like, I am in the best spot to card block everybody. If I do kill orange, I will have great card block lines on everybody. Well, blue's cap, he probably doesn't have a big enough stack here to take Ukraine, though. And green doesn't have a trade. Trade would be 45? Uh, uh, you know what? We're playing... We're playing for keeps, right? Let's do that. This is a game now. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay. Triple artillery. Blue can come around and hit this cap too. Do I have a trade? Yes. 
No trade on four doggy time? Of course he's got it. Whatever. Go hit the 20 cap. Fist bump. Fist bump. We're best friends, right? We're best friends. Yeah, you and me. We're not best friends. No! Oh, he just breaks. Okay, okay. That's cool, because now you're easy to card block. You done goofed, kiddo. You're never going to get another card. If I, oh, if only I could kill green right here. What was the size of that? 15? And he comes up. He's leaving this cap empty. Doggy time? I could just end you. Green wants North America. The green's incredibly easy to card block, and so is blue. He literally left his cap empty. Am I wrong? Double card block? I mean, I don't have the troops for a double card block. I do have a trade, though. Well, I could try. I need, I need to leave a 13 here. So that goes there. And then I need to leave, what, like a 20 here? Green's going to have a trade and it's going to suck. Green's going to have a trade, I think. I did this so blue can't roll this cap, right? This cap I don't have to protect as much. Double card block, baby. Does he try me? If he tries me... I kill him for only two cards. He skips. And he's going to fortify. Okay, that doesn't help you. Doesn't help you at all. If green has no trade, I hold the double bonuses. He's not deploying. Remember last time he had a trade on three, so he deployed, traded immediately. Does he fortify? I get a lot of troops. He doesn't. So I get 22 to 12 and 9. I think I could skip. There's no cap here. I'm pretty sure Siam's empty. Weirdly enough, I'm pretty sure it's empty. If I'm wrong, this is going to suck. But I want a card. Okay, I'm right. Damn. Send dudes, baby! Come on! <clears throat> so what do I do now? I take a card off blue and let him ran run the board? You gonna try me? Oh, if he tries me, I'm very happy. Because now a kill on him would give me the good stuff. Oh, this is nice, too. This might actually open me to killing him if he brings enough off. That's not enough. Let's go! Kinka91, thanks for the follow. Yeah, I earn enough that I out-earn both of them. Hey, hey, hey. Who rules? Doyle rules! Okay. So here's the thing. We're gonna hit blue now for a card. That was bad dice. We're gonna do that. <laughs> Why? I'm always on hard mode. Splits, he wants his 14 back? He, he's really making mistakes here. He better not have a trade on three, doggy. Okay, I think I can just kill him. A 21 on cap is all he's got. I should be able to end this. Oh my god. If I get a bad enough roll on this, I will cry. I cannot believe. Ah! 
Is Green Shoes now to come out? He could bring everything. Yeah, here it is. There it is. <clears throat> All right, we kill Blue into what? Let's just do it. Oh, okay, that's decent. He had a trade on three. He fucking had a trade on three. You see that? Do I have an India card? No. He had a trade on three for realsies. Okay. Okay, doggy, bring it on. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, cap run? Good luck. Good luck. Enjoy. He got second place though. 69 loss. That's a dab worthy. I don't have it. Oh, he's hitting me with the cap runs. Jesus. Keep going. You got me. It's all over but the crime. I'll take that. That was a great game. That was a fast classic prog. As I said, these games usually last 17 years, but not today. Not today. Where are you going? Back to cap? I want to see the Fiesta down here. Oh, you want to go back down there? Okay. Is that your home? Good game. He had a wild card. No! Goodbye. Good game. That was a great start. Great start. I liked it. Let's check the ranks. I mean, they could be average. Expert for white, red, intermediate. Expert for green. Okay, not too bad. A couple experts and intermediate. I'll take it. If you're joining from YouTube, thank you for hanging out. Till the end of the video, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next video.